Hopefully that will be seamless in editing. Okay, Marble Garden Zone. This is the uh, wraparound bit. Actually, you're working with portals here. You've got to think with portals because you keep going... The Mega Drive doesn't handle this many layers of vertical scroll, so you sort of scroll from side to side as you go down. Ah! Oh, good start. Oh, oh, bloody hell. You thought I'd have played this game before. Never mind. Um, I'm sure I'm doing okay on the greed. But I want all the rings I can. 600 is the target. I love that trick. You're standing on top of the yo-yo things and bouncing off of it. These spinning tops, of course, made in Return in Sonic Generations, where they were crap. They're good here because you actually control them properly. And you don't have to control them very far, unlike in Generations, which is otherwise good in a Sonic game. Just that, you know, the Mega Drive ones were so much better. Of course, you don't want to jump on those bubble dudes when their spikes are out. Blowfish, whatever they are. Tails, of course, is just going to jump on anything. Oh, regardless, is proven there. I think Tails may have ADHD. But that's enough of that for now. Oh, there we go. I've just proven my point, haven't I? Avoiding the spring that I jumped straight into anyway. Okay. Uh, this one, in fact, about the Marble Garden Zone. It's the only zone in the whole of Sonic 3 that doesn't have any water in it. But none of the zones in Sonic and Knuckles have any water in them at all, whatsoever. None of them. That's the most pointless, useless bit of information of all time, and thank god they didn't make, my dro make me drop my rings there. Otherwise, cock! Avoiding jumping on the springs that were safe anyway, and I jumped straight into the path of the bloody... Damage levels are going to ramp up this, this turn. Okay. Look to avoid the arrow, which I don't think can hit me anyway. Oh, we won't. We'll, we'll avoid jumping on the floating platform until we got a better shot at it and miss anyway. Perfect. I think that's this big ring in there, so we'll ignore that. We'll go down. Christ, I can't even fall properly. So I think I've picked up about 200 rings so far in this, this playthrough, and I've kept... Oh! Oh, none of them. Right, this needs to be well timed. Sweet. Okay, you just step on this one and it takes you where you need to go. You can hold one side to change direction if you want, so I generally don't bother. I think it's where we get off anyway. You can't ride... No, you may be able to ride it up there if you're very careful, but as we've established so far this act, I'm not. So, I think we'll do this the old-fashioned way. Oh, jump onto the sides of the spikes, nothing down there. Flame shield will come in handy. There's no water to put it out, so I don't think there's any fire to make it useful anyway, but it will repel... Um, it will repel shots. It won't help you against spikes. Uh, turns out I'm going to be hopefully ending this up with 43 rings. That's going to have to do, I suppose. Come on! See, we've got, we've got, we've got the funky boss music for this one. Why couldn't we have it for the one in hydros hydrosity? Hydrosity. Obviously, we don't want to jump at the boss when his, when his spikes are pointing downwards. You'll never be able to tell this music was written by Michael Jackson. Uh, big head. Tails is getting in the way again. Right, 43 rings. It'll do. I'll take it. So it's all changing the music to let you know it's Act 2. We've got the flame shield. Then we've got the yo-yo thingies as well in this act. There's always something unique to um, every second act in this game. I think in uh, Angel Island. I can't remember what it was in Angel Island. Oh, hello. 
Here's Dr. Robotonic in the boss fight that is below. Angel Island, can't remember. Hydra was Frosty C was the um uh, I think I may have just found the theme name for my um my videos. Hydra was Frosty was the um old school water slides and this one we've got the OYOs. And these things right they are. Yes, there was a shortcut. I thought it might have led to a big ring, which of course we don't want. We'll have you as well, Grasshopper. We'll definitely have you. And this is, uh, oh yeah, we're taking the the high road deliberately there, and we're just going to take the low road deliberately as well. Never mind. Right. So we want to avoid getting s smashed by that thing. Oh, God, that was close. Let's try and actually jump on the platform, please. Hi, Tails, glad you could join us. Avoid the spiked ball thing. Okay, and sweet. Right. Springs, color code of your convenience. Yeah, the other, the other zones have got special things in them as well. If I remember, I will... I will Special things in the Act 2. If I remember to mention them, I will. So I think we can guarantee I won't. And straight into a book, Blowfish. So never mind. I'm going to inevitably lose all my rings with about 10 seconds now. After having kept that shield intact for ages. Well, comparative damages for me. There we go. Unless I talk, the more the game craps out on me. We want this way. This time we want this way. Fortunately, the game automatically diverts us anyway. I think there's a shield up here. I think there's an invincibility shield hey! up here. I'm thinking of somewhere else, obviously. Big ring that way. We don't want that. Uh! Okay. Right, we want to somehow avoid the arrows that come out of this last thing in space. I was going to say. Yeah, thank you for your contribution there, Tails. Didn't actually use the D-Line because I had the flame shield and could just blast through. Like I did anyway. Oh, there goes the shield. Yeah, embarrassingly, I think it was Tails who got the killer blow there. Ah, huh. oh, thank you for that. Garden. I'm not sure whether or not it was one of my favourite zones when I was younger. But looking back at it, it's probably my least favourite. As I said, there's no water in it. You've got all these weird automatic sections, and it's also really hard. And those bleeding spike things. And of course, it has the uh, boss that everybody hates. Well, I, uh, I don't know why people constantly say, a little flame shield, not a thing going here. I don't think I've actually seen a bubble shield in this zone either. I don't know why everybody says this boss is hard to find with Tails. I've never had any difficulties. I've finished this game uh, in all three configurations possible, which is Sonic, Super Sonic and Tails. And I've finished Sonic 3 and Knuckles in every configuration possible there, which is uh, Sonic Dawn. So I'm just right. God, Tails, you were lucky there. Um, that would, if that was Sonic, he would now be dead mate. Right, as I was saying, um, finish Sonic and three and Knuckles in every configuration possible. Which was Sonic, Super Sonic, Hyper Sonic, Knuckles, Super Knuckles. Come on, give me the platform, please, for God's sake. Oh, it stopped anyway, never mind. Uh, Knuckles. Oh, there goes the shield. Knuckles, Super Knuckles, Hyper Knuckles, Tails and Super Tails, and I think we're almost at the boss here. 
there's another star post. Okay, okay never mind. Okay, one of my favourite tricks here is you wait for the boss to come down, and any hits you land on him now will count. So, ha, have it. One, two, lose on the wings. Thank you, Tails. should happen here, Tails will fly up at some point, carrying Sonic. Well, he's supposed to anyway. Yoo-hoo, Tails! Tails! Quick as you like. Oh shit, I think I've run into a bug. Oh, this is embarrassing. Sonic 3's crapped out on me whilst I'm trying to play it and upload it to YouTube. Uh, if Tails appears at any point, uh, I will continue on with this commentary. Otherwise, from this point, I, I will just, you know, fast forward the whole video. Inevitably, or even blue stars at the game. Okay, don't know what to do about that. That clearly wasn't my fault. Clearly, the fault of the game, so I'll work something out. I don't know if the clock started again as well. That's weird. Never mind. Uh, keep going. That's all I can do, really. Here comes the boss. This time, we're not going to bounce on his head. Because that, that just, just goes through as always. We're going to spin dash him instead. Well, or at least Tails is going to end up in the middle of him. I think that's in fact for two pits, so I only need six. Oh, finally, Tails, thank you for showing up. So what you do here is you manoeuvre on top of him, bounce, good catch. Manoeuvre up on top of him, away from his engines, away from his drill, bounce. A slightly less good catch. Right now you want to be pointed away from his engines and the drill obviously, but I think we can avoid the drill safely enough. Drill pointed upwards this time, engines pointing downwards, so hit him is fat ginger face. And there we go. Two more. Oh, well done Tails. Fortunately, that's not your worst screw up this game. And boom, there you go. Don't know what I should do for the speed thing. He's so giving me 118 there, but obviously that should be, what, 1117. I'm not a bloody having that. So, I'll think of something. Nonetheless, that's half the game done. There's still half the game to go. And the next one is the fun one. The one where everybody, myself included, got... Stuck about a million times when they were younger. Hi everyone, it's Neb here. After careful consideration of the size of what I'm going to do with the uh, score from this one, is it going to? Uh, obviously, I had five rings at the end there, so I'm going to keep those and carry them over. I'm also going to uh, not count the uh, life loss from the timer because that clearly wasn't my fault. Victory game, Eugene Acker. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the time finished at the end of that act to the time that I had when I passed the star post and use that for the speed statistics. So without further ado, here's the current score. 